Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I installed this C channel, uh, making a little reusable guide, I guess you would call it. So I'm cutting some half inch plywood into three inch strips, and then I'm cutting my spacers just slightly over the width of the C channel. Then I'm using painter's tape and CA glue to lock it in place, as you can see here. This is a scrap cutoff from the tabletop that I uh, currently have that I will be installing this on. So this was a perfect practice piece for me. This is also the first time that I've installed C channel. So definitely wanted to practice before I dove into actually doing it on my workpiece. So you can see there, get that perfectly set up. And I'm using a inlay bushing or inlay guide. I'm not exactly sure what you call this here, uh, but this is really cool because now I just have a quarter inch spiral bit in there and that guide bushing will fall along on the half inch plywood that I have set up and get my cuts perfect. Um, as you can see, this is the test piece here and it was moving a little bit. And so this was the first time that I have inlaid any C channel. So I definitely wanted to practice like I'm doing here to make sure that I got my depth set perfect, that the spacer was set perfect. So definitely recommend if you need to practice on a scrap piece before installing, as you can see here, I got the fit just right. So now I'm going to set up my actual piece on the tabletop and then strike a line so I know exactly where that will be and I'm gonna make it just a little bit proud of that because you want to allow for wood movement when you're installing these channels as well one thing I did after I did this is I immediately went and ordered some double-sided tape so that way I didn't have to use so much painters tape and so much CA glue to get these in place and then I'm doing a couple stops on the top and the bottom uh, these don't have to be completely perfect um, because you do want to allow for wood movement like I said earlier so just got it in there Looks like it's gonna work great. Then I noticed on the bottom one, I like to pull it towards me and push against the half inch plywood. And then on the top one, I like to push against it, push forward against it, and then slide it down. Do whatever's best for you and feels the most comfortable. I went really slow, that's why these are time lapses and took quite a few passes to get to the depth that I needed. Then I set my depth and routed out about an eighth inch deep so that way the channel sits flush there on the table. The C channel and the threaded inserts were supplied by Bidwell Wooden Iron. The threaded inserts are Rampa threaded inserts. Uh, I'll link all this below, so shout out to them for supplying me with this. And if you've never used C channel before, I definitely recommend it. I'm pretty new to it. Like I said, this is the first time that I've installed it, but I've had a couple tables warp on me. So from now on, no matter what, I'm always going to be using C channel because the Effort and money you put into adding these is definitely worth the return. I highly recommend them for the cost and the amount of labor that it takes to put them in. Definitely worth the return. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if there was something that I didn't cover or something that you were wondering about, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear from you on how you liked the video and anything that I can do to improve. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.